Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about uh, Philodendron Red Emerald, also known as Philodendron Red Leaf Philodendron, also known as uh, Blushing Philodendron, and the scientific botanical name for it is Philodendron Erubescens. So I earlier did not know that it was Philodendron Erubescens. I knew its common name Philodendron Red Emerald. I also did not know that Blushing uh, philodendron is often called as this popular plant called philodendron red emerald. So we're going to talk a little bit about this and then later on touch upon all the kinds of philodendron that uh, one can own in this weather and uh, you know often this is a, a species that is so vast that we can uh, often get confused about different kinds of species. So don't forget to subscribe the channel before we dive into it and uh, do uh, show your support and love by subscribing to my channel. Now let's dive into the plant. As you can see, the, currently the plant is behind me and is suspended uh, through ropes. So these guys have aerial roots uh, at various nodes and they love usually ideally what the next stage is gonna be because i could not insert a moss pole that would mean that i would break the roots into the pot and i didn't want to do that so i ended up uh, suspending it from the top because uh, it was getting unwieldy it was growing so fast that my uh, pole could not match uh, you know its uh, growth rate so uh, but uh, they do love misting the roots would love misting and uh, the next step for this guy would be for me to um, you know wrap uh, all the moss uh, take a little bit of sphagnum moss or some moss and then wrap it around the root systems and keep on misting them that way they get something to latch onto and they really seem happy about that um, these guys uh, take about uh, According to many sources, they take about more than a decade to sometimes grow its full height, which is uh, of 2.5 meters to, uh, you know, 4 meters tall. I mean, it's huge. It can grow really, really big. And I hope someday I have that big of a philodendron red emerald or blushing philodendron. Yeah. So we're going to briefly talk about a uh, summary of, uh, you know, how these guys uh, operate in terms of its care. Uh, in terms of its care, it loves uh, well-draining uh, sandy soil. Uh, they don't like to sit in uh, water at all. They like to dry in between waterings. And uh, in terms of light uh, requirements, they are happy in an east-facing window or, or uh, kind of a low-intensity bright indirect light. Uh, but I have often kept it in east-facing balcony as well, and it has uh, shown happiness there as well. Uh, but if you are keeping it in a well-lit environment, it is prone to grow faster. So you have to water it more often especially it's if it's in a terracotta pot and it's drying faster because you've kept it outside at the same time it loves to feed on fertilizer half strength fertilizer so you dilute the fertilizer or liquid fertilizer whatever you provide uh, any kind seaweed or fish emulsion or any kind of fertilizer that you can get uh, it loves to feed on that and the more you provide them that the better it grows but don't overdo it uh, safe uh, to provide uh, fertilizer twice a month uh, but you can uh, you know if you are you know diluting it too much you can provide it every week but I would go go for the safe one that provide it every two uh, weeks uh, I am sometimes lazy and I provide it sometimes a month even then it grows uh, not as good but uh, grows uh, enough for me very easy to propagate you can check out my propagation video somewhere here um, i have chopped this guy into multiple pieces from top many times and there are many growing from the bottom i know it will take years before it will grow big but uh, i'm patient enough now uh, and this is one of my favorite early phyllodendron plants now we're going to talk about uh, the next set of care it prefers a moss pole and like I mentioned it has aerial roots and the more you give it support the better it latches onto it and uh, grows faster uh, but if you don't have such a large moss pole you can uh, you know 
of course do some other things like i have done i have suspended it from the top and i'll cover the roots with uh, individual moss and tie it across uh, and continue to miss them so even though i water infrequently i do miss them very regularly at least every two days in the root section i don't miss the leaves because there is no point in misting a leaf uh, misting of leaves is a useless procedure the plant doesn't benefit from that however if a plant has aerial roots aerial roots i do miss because that way they uh, get some water from there they get some humidity from there and all the things i often keep them clustered together because they are humidity loving plants for a climate like kolkata it's a very uh, favorable condition the more humid the places the better they stop growing during the non humid months in india that is winter and only thing i can say about this plant is don't eat it because the leaves are not stomach friendly i hope you're not eating the philodendron and anyway so that's pretty much the summary of this guy and it's a lovely plant it's famous uh, uh, it's a hybrid hailing from colombia and uh, it, it can be very easily propagated and it's very famous in this country as well in everywhere philippines asia uh, they are a famous plant in europe and uh, usa they are trending for quite some time because of how easy it is to get this guy and unlike it other rare philodendrons this philodendron is much much easier to grow and get as a plant everywhere so now we can dive into uh, some other philodendrons that we will touch upon in this philodendron series uh, we'll just quickly go through what are the basic kinds of all philodendrons and uh, i don't own uh, i own some of them but i don't own all of them so we'll talk about that and we will uh, see what where it takes us 